Hello everyone, my name is Greg Chong and I'm the Toothpreneur and here today I'm presenting to you an Orico 4-bay hard drive enclosure. It is a DAS system which means it doesn't have NAS or any RAID system built in. It just houses four external hard drives and that's a solution I was looking for to help me put some external hard drives into a nice neat enclosure and then connect that to my new Mac Mini M4. The reason why I don't need a NAS system is because I already have this online cloud backup system from Backblaze and I've been using them for a number of years. It's been tried and true and they saved me a couple times, but I basically upload all my data to the cloud so it's all backed up so I don't need to do it at my house. And one of the things that I really am a little stickler about is fan noise. So these enclosures, they definitely do have a fan in, inside to help keep the hard drives nice and cool so they don't overheat and then wear down uh, quicker than you expect. So I'm here to present it. It basically looks like this. I got it from Amazon. I purchased it myself. Uh, they did not approach me to make this video and I'm doing this all under my own accord. Another feature that I wanted was some type of USB connection 3.2 or higher so I can get a 10 gigabyte connection to my Mac mini. I know my hard drives are maybe limited at six and I think I have some older hard drives that are probably at three megabits per second. So they're a little bit on the slower side, but I also will do a little comparison test between what was stock when I had the hard drives, external hard drives just connected directly to the Mac mini. And then I'll put them into the drive bay and we'll do some speed tests as well to see how fast they go. Now let's get into the unboxing. So here it is, it's the Orico. It's actually a Mac Vault, Data Vault, DAS system. So it has no RAID system whatsoever. But this is not necessarily uh, only meant for Mac. It does say on the side of the box here that you can run Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Android on this. And so basically there's a USB-C connection to it. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to buy it. And I'm hoping that the fan noise in this unit is going to be on the quieter side. It can store up to 88 terabytes of space. Basically, you know, as a four drive divided by two is like 22 gig uh, terabytes of uh, hard drive for each hard drive, USB. And the one of the cool things compared to this other one that I bought uh, that you can daisy chain the USB-C connection. So that's actually kind of a cool feature that I think is gonna be beneficial to this enclosure. And they say it's highly designed for Mac, aesthetically is what they're saying, but doesn't necessarily need to be run on a Mac. Now let's unbox it and get into it. You can open it right here. It's a nice case, so to speak, and box. Got a little box on top here, probably contains screws and cables and things like that. Has a screwdriver, some screws here, black to match their thing aesthetically. Uh, this looks like a USB-A, but I think there's a disconnect. Uh, you can disconnect this to make it USB-C to USB-C. And of course, a power cable. This One of the nice things about this one compared to the other one that I made a video of, and I put the link in the description below, but this the power supply is built into this unit, and therefore you just need one of these power cables, not an extra little external box, and then a connection to that. It's packaged really nicely. Take off the styrofoam piece here. Let's get it out of the bag here. Aesthetically, it's very, very nice. I mean, it's nice and silver, it matches the silver of my Mac Mini. Um, it says Mac data, but again, you can use it for any Windows machine, Linux machine, what have you. Here's the front, and basically you can take the drives out of here. There's a little LED here to light up that the drive's inside. Let's take a look at the back. Big fan unit in back, power supply, power button, really aesthetically, really pleasing. There's a push and locks and push and unlock. Nice thing where the USB-C can main connection to my Mac Mini. And then the hub, so you can daisy chain multiple of these, or maybe another USB device, maybe another external hard drive that you have a fifth hard drive and this only has four. As you can see, I have four hard drives that I like to hook into this. And the nice thing about it is that 
we can hook in a two and a half inch drive as well as a standard three and a half. This is a very, very old four terabyte drive that I use for my iPhone backups or iTunes backups. This is a 10 terabyte drive that I use as a main data storage for a lot of my photography and, and files in the past. This is my new 16 terabyte drive. It's gonna use actually, I think, run faster than these old two over here. And of course, this is an SSD, so it's gonna run super fast. So I'm very curious to see how fast it's gonna run compared to the other brand that I bought recently and reviewed, and we'll get into it. Now let's put these hard drives into the, the storage unit and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting in the hard drives into the bays, and all you have to do is just slide it a little bit and opens up this lever and you can just slide it out. This is not a toolless design, so you have to actually secure your hard drive with some screws and that's actually included in the kit. So I'm just gonna take this. So again, when you need to line up your hard drive, remember there's a connector back here and that goes into kind of this little notch area. Just carefully don't drop your hard drive to break it. And basically I'll screw in the holes, screws, sorry, into these holes and they'll lock it in to secure it. Don't close this before you slide it in. It doesn't go in that way. Just be careful, really hold on. Just don't drop it in. And you're gonna feel the hard drive engage the, the connector in the back. And now that it's done, I can close it and it locks it in. Now let's go through the second one. Now I have a two and a half inch drive. So how do you secure this? So basically there are actually four holes at the bottom here that will secure it underneath the hard drive. There's four holes here that help screw this and attach it to the tray. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, remember the connector needs to be in the back here. Again, don't close this before you slide it in. Now slide it in. Locks into the connector in the back. Now close the door to lock the hard drive in. Let's go for hard drive number three. This is gonna be a three and a half inch drive here. A big 10 terabyte. Again, make sure the connector is with this notch area. Drop it in. Now my 10 terabyte drive is connected. Don't remember, don't just drop it in. Be careful when you put it in. It's gonna have some resistance. Push it in, close the tab, and it's locked in. Let's do the fourth drive now. Again, the connector is right here, and then it's notch here. tray. Let's go ahead and put it in here. There it goes. Remember, don't drop it in. Just squeeze it in. It's all done. All right, cool. So now we just, all the hard drives are in. Aesthetically, it looks really, really cool and really pleasing. Now we just need to connect the power, connect a USB-C to my Mac mini, and we're going to see how long it takes to spool up and be recognized by my Mac mini on the desktop. So now we're gonna make the connections and it comes with the USB uh, cable here. And I think one of the cool things that it actually comes with in case you have a little bit of an older system is it actually has a USB A adapter here and you can just take that off. There's a little rubber connector here so you don't lose it. But I'm just gonna use the USB C to USB C since that's all I have. Of course, if you have an older system or something that has still USB A, good news that it comes with a cable uh, adapter built in so you can be still connected. And of course, it says 10 pi gigabits per second, it's basically the speed rating of the, uh, the wire. So now I got the Orico four bay DAS enclosure on my desktop here. And I'm gonna run some speed tests on the hard drives that are inside to kind of give you a gauge of how fast the transfer speed is. Got the stopwatch going. You see now my Mac Mini is nice and clean. There's not a bunch of hard drives just laying around here. My desk is a bit neater and cleaner. And let's go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna turn it on in a second. I'm gonna run the stopwatch 
and we're going to find out how long it takes for the hard drives to be recognized by my Mac Mini. Here we're going to test how fast the Mac Mini will recognize the hard drives that are inside the Orico 4 bay enclosure. As you can see, it's recognized two hard drives already. The yellow one that's on top is an SSD. The Time Machine green one is actually a platter hard drive, so I recognize it pretty quickly, I'm surprised. We're waiting on two more. There's another one. That's the 10 terabyte drive, and now there's the 16. So it took about 25 seconds to sort of boot up and be recognized by my Mac Mini. Now we're going to do some speed tests. And I'm going to test that 10 terabyte drive. It's a platter drive. And we're going to see how fast the 1 gig transfer is going to be. You can see it's running about 160, 165 megabits per second. Per right. And about the same, maybe a little bit less, about 150 megabits per second read. And that took about 18 seconds, give or take a second to start it. Now we're going to do the 4 terabyte drive. It's a smaller drive. We're going to test the 1 gigabyte file transfer. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, it's pretty slow, uh, maybe ooh, 100, 115, maybe it took a little time to spool up, maybe maybe 130 right there. Not too bad. This read speed's a bit faster at about 160, 170 megabits per second. And it took about 18, 19 seconds as well. Now let's go after the new 16 terabyte drive. This one should be faster, I predict it to be faster. And yes, it's at least double, close to double the speed there for right, 274. And the read is almost about almost 270, 269 megabits per second. So not too bad, a bit faster by five seconds. So now let's test my SSD drive. And there it goes. Wow, 431 megabits per second for the write and the read, about 459 megabits per second, and it took about 10 seconds, so even faster. So this is what I wanted. I wanted a hard drive enclosure that can hold my four external hard drives and then be recognized by my new Mac Mini as individual hard drives. And the reason for this is because my cloud backup system uh, from Backblaze they only recognize external hard drive. They do not want to back up or recognize any NAS system that's connected to my Mac Mini or my network. They will not back that up, but they're happy to back up just individual external hard drives. And the nice thing about this is the Orico, the casing is super nice. It matches the same silver color as my Mac Mini. So aesthetically, everything looks really, really pleasing on my desktop. And the transfer speeds are pretty good. Compared to that Sendmark one I did a review on, I have to say maybe the performance is just a little bit less, and but it's very comparative. And the, one of the biggest things is the fan noise. The, the, the Orico one is actually much quieter than the Senmark. So I'm actually really, really happy with this unit. It's really, really quiet. It's not going to disturb the bedrooms down the hallway from here. And this is exactly what I wanted. It was a little bit more expensive than the Senmark, but I have to say the features, daisy chaining, the quiet fan, I think, was worth the $10 difference that it was in the end. Again, I bought, purchased this myself. Orico did not approach me to make this video. I'm doing this all under my own accord, and I'm happy to share so you guys can make an intelligent choice on which enclosure you wish to buy for yourself. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. 
you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'll be happy to get back to you. Be sure to like and subscribe as it helps me grow my channel. Thanks, everyone, and thanks for joining me.